Hi guys, my name is Chad Trofgerben. I am the founder and content creator for IncredibleTutorials.com. I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 9 tutorials. So let's get started. The layer tools in Anime Studio Pro allow us to interact and edit the aspects of layers in the Anime Studio document. This tutorial will briefly touch on each of the layer tools. The Transform Layer tool allows us to move, resize, and rotate layers that are in our project files. We can do this with our cursor by holding down the left mouse button in certain areas of the layer, or you can adjust the values numerically at the top. If I bring my cursor inside of this layer, hold down my left mouse button and drag around, you can see I am moving the layer. If I bring my cursor outside of this layer, you can see the icon of the cursor changes now to a circle. And if I hold down my left mouse button and move around, you can see I am rotating the layer. Finally, if you want to resize your layer, you'll have to place your cursor on one of the nine points on the box. In this case, if I place my cursor in one of the corners, you'll notice my icon changes to a diagonal arrow. If I hold down my left mouse button and drag, I can resize all properties of the layer. If I do this for the top or bottom points, it resizes like this. The left or right points resize like this. And as I said at the top, you can adjust these values numerically. This will give you greater control if you want to be very precise with your measurements. And finally, if you need to revert back to the original state of the layer, you can always hit the reset buttons. The set origin tool allows you to set the origin of a layer. This will directly affect the transform layer tool. As an example, if I take my transform layer tool right now and resize, you can see I am resizing from the center as well as when I rotate. But now, if I take my Set Origin tool, hold down my left mouse button and move this up, and now take the Transform Layer tool, when I resize, you can see it's resizing from the top of the head. The same applies when I rotate. Finally, with the Set Origin tool, you can set the origin numerically, or you can reset the origin entirely. The Follow Path tool allows you to set up a layer so that it will follow a line or path that you have created in another layer. If you look at my Layers panel, I have two layers, an object and a path. The object contains a rectangle, the path layer contains the path or the line I created using the Add Point tool. Select the Object layer and then take your Follow Path tool. Now select the line. You'll notice the rectangle snaps to the line. If you hold down your mouse button and move the rectangle around, you can see that it will directly follow the path. You can animate this out by advancing in the timeline and then moving the rectangle or object. Now if you page through, you can see the motion play out. The Rotate Layer XY tool gives you the option to rotate your layer and mimic a 3D effect. So if I take this tool and apply it to my character, you can see as I rotate it, it looks like the head is coming closer towards the screen while his legs are going further away. This again gives up a 3D illusion that you can apply to your characters. And if you couple this with camera movements, you can see that the character reacts to how the camera moves. It gives it a 3D effect. So whenever you apply this effect to a layer, Anime Studio will look at it as a 3D object. Finally, if you want more control, you can always enter in your values numerically at the top. The Shear Layer tool allows you to create a shearing effect for a layer. Like most layer tools, you can do this manually or numerically by entering in values at the top. 
All I have to do is click and drag to create the effect. The Vector Shape Selector allows you to select any vector shape you currently see on your document. Traditionally, you would only be able to select vector shapes if you were in that vector shapes layer. However, with this tool, I can click on any shape I see, and you'll notice as I do this, the corresponding layers are selected on my layers panel. This is great if you have a bunch of layers and it's becoming difficult to locate the layers you need on the layers panel. And that concludes the lesson on Anime Studio Pro's layer tools. If you would like more information regarding Anime Studio, please check out the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. I have many more Anime Studio 9 tutorials out there, so check them out, and I'll see you guys next time.